Hello, hello, hello everyone. So this is Nessinator1. Welcome to my gaming channel if this is your first time here. I was actually planning to drop this video and another video before I started uploading Havoc DLC gameplays, which I do have and I have uh, a review of that coming up in my third video today. So this is the first of three. The second one will also be just regular maps and the third one will be Havoc DLC. And in that one, I'll give you my own little personal review of the Havoc DLC and what I think of it so far. And trust me, I have a lot to say about it. Uh, this gameplay that you're watching right here, of course, is on Green Band using the KF-5. Uh, not a bad submachine gun. I can't wait for this one to possibly be buffed. You know, I think that's what's going to happen with all these guns. Because I know they just had a patch, of course, when the Havoc DLC dropped. That buff, like the TAC-19, the HBR-8 got a also a buff. And, you know, they're making the guns stronger here and there. They're supposedly going to do some nerfs and buffs in the next couple of weeks. Buff the MK-14, possibly nerf the ASM-1 and make that not such an OP gun. You know, it is OP, but I don't mind it because it's an SMG. And I, I'm an SMG user. I prefer SMGs just because they're more mobile. And you can, you know, rush. And, you know, it's a, it's a rusher's gun. So I like SMGs. Never really use too much uh, LMGs or sniper rifles. Although I have used uh, LMGs in this game, I'm waiting to get the Amelie Spacer, I think it's called. I really want to try that gun out. Drifter just made a video about it. I heard a lot of good things about that gun. If I get that one, I'll probably throw up some LMG gameplays. Uh, sniper, you won't see any sniper out of me. I just don't have the patience for it. It's not my gameplay style. I, I don't really enjoy doing that type of gaming. So, uh, you know, you probably won't get any sniper gameplays out of me in this game. But if, if I do pick one up, run out of ammo or something like that, who knows? Maybe I will jump in one shot, the one shot playlist, and see if I can get a couple of gameplays with that. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be newbie stuff because I'm not a quick scoper, I'm not a hard scoper, and I just never really practiced uh, my skills in the sniping arena. So uh, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, so yeah, the patches and the buffs and everything coming out, it's supposedly going to make a lot more of these guns usable and more competitive uh, when it comes to, you know, right now everybody uses the ball and the ASM-1, so hopefully that does work and people, you know, start using other guns and maybe I can get some other gameplays. But you know what I've been using a lot of right now is the AK RIP, the variant, the elite variant of the AK. It's called the RIP. And uh, that's the gameplay, the, I mean the Havoc DLC gameplay videos that I'm going to be uploading. That's the gun I primarily use. So you're going to see a lot of that in the upcoming videos here coming up. And uh, I like it, man. That, that rip does some work. It's definitely a three-shot kill in just about anywhere on the map. I also have the HBR Insanity. I'm going to be throwing up some gameplays with that variant. Uh, that's the only two really good variants I have. Unfortunately, in my supply drops, I'm, you know, like everybody else, getting a lot of knee pads, getting a lot of clothes character customization stuff and I don't mind it uh, you know the car character customization stuff they're giving me but unfortunately they keep giving me the same things I delete it and I get it back I delete it and I get it back and, and like I said it in one of my previous commentaries oops, just dropped the pen there uh, like I said in one of my previous commentaries you know I wish they would have had a better system for the supply drops you know rewarding people who played longer as you prestige up you know then you start getting more and more elite variants and that would be a better system than I think they have it right now because right now it's just you do get a lot of bullshit and especially I hate when you delete things and you just keep getting them again and again and what's up with the supply drops when you only get one thing I hate that it's just like a pair of pants or something and you know I wish that was uh, better programmed by Sledgehammer but it is what it is it's a, it's, it's a maiden voyage for this type of you know uh, addition to the game so we'll see maybe if you know they build upon this and you know, have supply drops in other games, but maybe they'll just deal with customer character customization stuff. You know what I'm, I was curious to ask you guys before this video ends, what do you guys think about having the different variants and variations of guns? You know, it's just like, before you had one gun and everybody knew what that gun was capable of, but now you have one gun which has different variants, and some people unfortunately get the better gun. You may use the same gun, but if they have, for instance, the, the, the Strider, and you have the regular ASM-1 or the ASM-1 Magnitude, you're going to get shot, outshot almost each and every time, which can be frustrating. So do you guys like the variant system? Do you think that should go and they should have regular guns? Uh, let me know in the comment section below. I'm a little curious to hear your thoughts on that. Uh, anyway, guys, I have another video coming for you, so stay tuned, and I'm going to drop that one next, and then after that, you'll get the Havoc DLC review. Thanks for all your views, all your views, subscribes, and likes. This is Nessinger1, and I'm out. Thanks, guys.